Emma Raducanu is currently on the hunt for a new, full-time coach. The 18-year-old parted ways with Andrew Richardson after her historic U.S. Open victory, looking for someone with more tour-level experience. She is now undergoing a trial period with compatriot Johanna Conter's former mentor but has previously appealed for a coach interested in working with her. Radhikanu has already become known for chopping and changing her coaches quickly. The 18-year-old had a breakthrough run at Wimbledon earlier this summer while ranked down at world number 338, reaching the second week during her first ever Grand Slam appearance as a wild card, but parted ways with well-respected and experienced WTA coach, and Andy Murray's father-in-law, Nigel Sears shortly afterwards. She switched back to working with one of her LTA youth coaches, Andrew Richardson, for the North American hard court season and the risk paid off as Raducanu won the US Open while ranked at world number 150, failing to drop a set in 10 matches en route to the trophy. However, the Bromley local then ended her partnership with Richardson, saying she wanted to find someone with more tour level experience, but is yet to find a full time coach. The world number 24 sought guidance from another LTA coach, Jeremy Bates, while in Indian Wells and is now believed to have started a trial period with Esteban Carroll, who led Conta from outside the world's top 100 into the top 10. However, she is yet to find a long-term coach, and will ideally be looking to add someone to her team during the upcoming off-season so she can have the best prep ahead of her first full year on the Pro Tour. One man who previously worked with Raducanu in short bursts last year and earlier this year, Mark Pecci, recently said that the 18-year-old would likely continue to keep changing coaches, frequently. In Raducanu's search for a new mentor, Express Sport takes a look at some of the top candidates to become the world No. 24's full-time coach. Darren Cahill The veteran coach recently parted ways with former world number one and two-time Grand Slam champion Simona Halep after a six-year on-and-off partnership. As the Romanian is one of Raducanu's idols, there is arguably no one better for her than the man who guided Halep to the top of the rankings. The current world number 19 also said she would be happy to see him coaching again. And if it's tour-level experience Raducanu is looking for, Cahill has years under his belt. Sven Grainveld Though the Dutch former pro is currently coaching fellow US Open debutante champion Bianca Andrescu, he could be a viable option if there is a chance he ends up parting ways with the Canadian during off-season. Raducanu's agent Max Eisenbud is a seasoned pro at IMG and started his career by guiding then 17-year-old Maria Sharapova to stardom after her Wimbledon win. Grainveld is part of a circle of experienced coaches that Eisenbud likes to hire for his protégés, having also previously worked with another U.S. Open champion, Sloane Stevens, and would be a big contender if he becomes available, while Eisenbud, Raducanu and her parents are discussing options. Nigel Sears Though Raducanu posted ways with the esteemed British coach earlier this summer, he has more than enough experience at tour level and could strike the perfect happy medium for the 18-year-old, someone who knows her and her game well, but has those years coaching at the top level under his belt. Sears worked with the likes of Daniela Hintukova, Anna Ivanovic and, more recently, Anat Kontavate. His existing relationship with Raducanu could be the perfect one for the U.S. Open champion to revisit, given he is one of the most renowned and knowledgeable coaches on the WTA Tour.
Carlos Rodriguez. The established coach worked with another one of Raducanu's idols back in the day, making him someone the world number 24 would be looking to work with too. The Argentine coached Liene during her 2014 Australian Open title run and, while he is currently away from the coaching circuit, is another one of those in Eisenbud's close circle, so Raducanu's team would have no problem appointing the 57-year-old if the opportunity came. Esteban Carroll Though he is currently on board for a trial period, if all goes well Raducanu could look to hire the Spaniard full-time. As well as guiding fellow Brit Conta into the world's top 10, he also helped her reach a surprise maiden Grand Slam semi-final at the 2016 Australian Open. Carol is no stranger to British tennis and has even previously given Raducanu advice while working closely with the LTA, so a familiar face with the experience can serve the US Open champion well. He recently worked with British No. 10 Katie Swan, and even gave the world No. 24 some pointers on her serve as she trained last year.